natural resources study at a natural resources let us start the chapter by explaining the term natural resource very briefly with suitable example we need air to breathe water to drink and soil to grow crops air water and soil what are they called they are free gifts of nature which satisfy our human wants in the same way sunshine forests minerals etc are also useful to human beings in short the gifts of nature which satisfy our human wants are known as natural resources types of resources now let us study the different classification of resources on the basis of origin the resources can be classified into two biotic resources and abiotic resources biotic resources now let us have a brief description of biotic resources with the help of a conversation between two friends sita and meena two girls named sita and meena were very good friends once walking on the outskirts of a paddy field in a small village where they lived they saw a small square plot of land and a small house nearby where sita resides the conversation goes like this sita to meena this square plot of land with paddy cultivation is our livelihood and my father is a farmer these paddy fields give us rice which is our means of livelihood meena to sita in my home we have domestic animals like goats cow hen duck etc and our family depends on these animals and their products like egg and milk for our livelihood in this conversation between sita and meena what conclusion can we draw in the first conversation sita and her family depend on their paddy fields which are their means of livelihood these paddy fields give rice to them as their daily meals in the second conversation meena and her family depend on their domestic animals which often give them milk and egg by which they can satisfy their wants now in this conversation it is clear that biotic resources are those resources which we obtain from living organisms such as plants and animals in what sense are biotic resources renewable resources biotic resources are capable of regenerating themselves over a period of time for example agricultural crops forests fish etc they continue to reproduce and multiply in this sense the biotic resources are renewable abiotic resources these resources are generally found within the earth's crust and belong to the non living group for example all the minerals like gold copper iron etc 
are abiotic in nature. Abiotic resources are generally renewable and non-renewable. Some abiotic resources are renewable. For example, air, water, land, etc. There are some abiotic resources which are non-renewable. Example, minerals like manganese, cobalt, nickel, copper, etc. Their formation takes a much longer period of time, more than the life of man to be renewed. Classification of resources. Now, let us study the general classification of resources. Exhaustible resources, inexhaustible resources, potential resources, developed resources, agricultural resources, pastoral resources, energy resources, and mineral resources. Exhaustible resources. Exhaustible resources are the resources which we obtain from the earth's crust and which come to an end once they are used. They cannot be replaced. For example, coal, petroleum and natural gas. Inexhaustible resources. Now, let us understand the meaning of inexhaustible resources. Inexhaustible resources are the resources which never come to an end, even if used continuously. They can be renewed by natural process. For example, solar energy, air, water, etc. Potential resources. This is another type of resource which exists in a region and could be used in future. Here, we can understand the meaning of potential resource more clearly through an example. Rivers have the potential to produce hydroelectricity. Developed resources Developed resources are those resources which are actually in use. Now, let us take an example. We all are familiar with river sutlage. On river sutlage, power projects have been set up and electricity is being generated. Now, this has become a developed resource. Agricultural resources. The resources which we derive from agriculture are agricultural resources. Do you know the types of resources provided by agriculture? They provide raw materials to agro-based industries. Cereals, beverages, fiber and commercial crops. Agriculture provides us with food, clothing and shelter. Pastoral resources. Another classification of resources is pastoral resources. The resources which we get from animals are pastoral resources. Can you name some resources that we get from animals? Milk, meat, egg, skins, hides, fur, etc. Energy resources. Resources which are used for generating power or energy is known as energy resources. Now, we can list out some energy resources through which we can generate power or energy. Coal, natural gas, petroleum, nuclear fuel, wind, running water. Mineral resources. 
Where do we get gold, copper, iron, coal, etc. from? From the earth's crust. Yes, we get these type of minerals from the interior of the earth's crust. All those resources which we get from the earth's crust by the process of mining are called mineral resources. Summary All the resources exist as gifts of nature or natural endowments. The gifts of nature like forest, minerals, sunshine are natural resources. All gifts of nature become a resource when we start using them for our benefit. On the basis of origin, resources may be classified as biotic and abiotic resources. General classification of resources Exhaustible, inexhaustible, potential, developed, agricultural, pastoral, energy and mineral resources.